we are given two tables T1 and T2 and we are told that in table 1 that is T1 P is the primary key okay so let's mark it here and Q is the foreign key referencing R in table T2 so Q references this column R in table T2 and this referencing of Q to R in table T2 is done with on delete cascade on delete cascade and on delete on update cascade all right so when Q references R in table T2 the two constraints on it are on delete cascade and on update cascade in T2 R is the primary key all right and S is the foreign key referencing P in T1 with on delete set null and on update cascade. So S is a foreign key that references P of T1. And here the constraints are on delete set null and on update cascade. In order to delete record 3,8 from T1, the number of additional records that must be deleted from T1 is. Okay, so to understand and correctly answer this question, you must know what is on delete cascade. Now, on delete cascade basically means that if a value of the primary key is deleted, then the corresponding value that has been deleted from the primary key, that value, if it is present anywhere in the foreign key referencing that primary key then that value would also be deleted now if suppose we are saying that p is the primary key and s is referencing p and consider that there is a on delete cascade constraint so if we delete the value 2 from here then this value 2 which is referencing p will also be deleted on delete cascade cascade means take the deletion forward to the foreign key as well delete on the foreign key as well and on delete set null means on deletion of a value from the primary key just set the corresponding deleted value in the foreign key to null that means if 2 was deleted from p the value here would not be deleted this value would have been set to null Okay, so that is the difference between on delete cascade and on delete set null. Now on update cascade and on update set null is also same. Updation of a value in the primary key leads to a successive updation in the foreign key or setting on setting of null in the foreign key. Now we have we are being told that Q has an on delete cascade constraint and on update cascade okay and s has on delete set null so we are asked that if 3 comma 8 is deleted 3 comma 8 is deleted from pq now if a value is deleted from the primary key p that is 3 is deleted then s would be affected because on s there is a constraint of on delete set null so when i delete 3 the value 3 that is present here would be set to null. Okay, there would, won't be any deletion that would be occurring. We are told or we are asked the number of additional records that need to be deleted when 3 comma 8 is deleted. So when I delete the value 3 from P, only 3 this value from S would be set to null. No deletion happening here. And when I delete the value 8 from Q, that means in this case will there be any deletion or will the column in R be affected no this is a very important point when I stated what is on delete cascade I clearly mentioned that if the value in the primary key is deleted then the value in the foreign key may be affected but here Q is not the primary key. It is a foreign key referencing R. R is the primary key. So any change in the foreign key will not result in any change in the primary key. Okay. So we can directly delete a value from the foreign key of a table without any further deletion. So there would be no further deletion. No records, additional records would be deleted. 
all right so in on delete cascade constraint you have to be sure that if a value from a primary key is deleted then you have to make the correct deletion from the foreign key referencing that primary key and on delete set null there won't be any further deletion in the foreign key similarly for on update cascade and so on so this was a question that can become tricky when you don't know very clear difference between on delete cascade and set null that is why your concepts about these constraints and other constraints on database must be very clear so that you can correctly answer such questions it's you a table a database table known as top scorer and it says to consider the given sql query and find the number of tuples returned by the query and the query is select player from top scorer where goals are greater than all the values that are present in this sub query the sub query is select goals from top scorer where country is spain and goals are greater than any of the values present in the another sub query which is select goals from top scorer where country is germany so basically it has an outer query and an inner query and an innermost query so we'll always start by solving the innermost query and move outwards so in case of innermost query this is the innermost query which reads as select tc dot goals from top scorer top scorer is this table which contains columns player country and goals so we have to select goals from this table where country is equal to germany so what are the columns in what are the rows in the column country which has germany this value then this value then this value and the last two values all right so these are the rows having germany in their country column all right and the value that comes out to be that means we have to select the goals so the table that would result from the innermost query would be 16 14 11 and 10 all right since it is a 10 would not be repeated here because since it this table the result table the intermediate result table contains a single column and it is a table in itself so in a database table no two rows would have the same value or no two rows would be completely identical so here we would get four values four distinct values 16 14 11 and 10 now coming to the inner query the second level of the query which states select goals from top scorer where country is equal to spain now we have to find where the country is equal to spain and select the goals from there spain so there is no spain there is no country that is uh, listing down the players of spain or there is no row that is listing down the players and the respective goals from the country spain so basically this query becomes null and void it does not give any result no result from here or you can say null table you are getting from this query so now comes the outer query select player from this table where the goals of these player are greater than all the values present in the inner query the second level query and the goals are greater than any of the values that are present in this table so when we write any any means that out of any of these values that are present in this table the goals that we are selecting should be greater that means if we are selecting a value of 12 so 12 is greater than 10 and 11 the value that is selected should be greater than any value that is present in this table all right it can be greater than all these values it can be 17 or it can be also 11 or 10.5 but goal since it's an integer so it would be uh, values that are complete integers all right so we have to select those players where goals are greater than 
these values all those players who have scored goals that are either greater than or equal to 11 14 16 or greater than 10 all right so what are these players close is a player that has played 16 goals and this value is greater than 10 11 and 14 so this or this player would be selected in the outermost query we are not considering anything from the inner query because it is it has given a null table or a null result so we completely reject this constraint all right this constraint and we only consider this constraint okay so the first player would be selected now considering Ronaldo Ronaldo has 15 goals again greater than three values this would also be selected 14 would be selected 13 a player with 13 goals would be selected then 12 is again greater than 10 and 11 selected 11 is greater than 10 so it is selected this player Coxes is again greater than it, his goals are greater than this value 10 in this table so he would also be selected and now comes urgent the player of Argentina with 10 goals this player and all the players lying below him would not be selected because their goals are not greater than any of the value that is present in this table all right so the values or the tuples that would be returned by the final query would be the names of the players the players would be close ronaldo g miller fontaine pele klinsman and finally all right so we have to find out the number of tuples that are returned by the query so how many tuples we would have seven of them all right so the answer would be seven so in this query the only trick was that how would you perform a query that is returning an intermediate null table as the result so that is how you do it you basically consider the entire query as if this inner query part was not present because it is returning a null result all right so that's all for today's lecture i hope you understood the question thank you for watching the video stay tuned to the channel of easy engineering classes for more lectures on database management system other computer science relation related subjects and our preparation series of gate UGC Net Computer Science and Bank IT Officers. Subscribe to our channel and like and share the video if you understood the question. Thank you.